Ah, yes, astrology. Perhaps the most logically flawed and intellectually molested pseudoscience that has ever been popularized among society. After discovering that humans will literally worship a handful of rocks and the position of stars in the sky, I legitimately refuse to believe that anything can surprise me at this point. There's nothing quite like being invited into a new girlfriend's house for the first time and finding an array of crystals, dream catchers, and a random fucking tapestry over her bed. Yes, you're special. We understand. It's one thing to enjoy the theory. It's one thing to find fascination in the concept. But half of you literally worship this shit as if it were universally factual. Like if Venus was 32 degrees southwest from the sun on the night that I was born, I'm gonna be the next Stalin or something. And it's not the fact that some of these coincidences could be cool. It's the fact that whenever somebody tells me the meaning behind any of this astrological shit, or what my sign says about me, it's either a basic human trait that could be assigned to basically anybody, or it's incorrect. You're a Virgo, so you probably enjoy being treated nicely by others. No shit, you fucking dumbass. And I know some of them are more specific, but in the event that they're actually accurate, I hate to break it to you, but it's coincidental. If there's one thing that makes me want to commit seppuku the most about this entire situation, it's that some of you people legitimately blame real-world issues on astrology. Or you'll, like, legitimately avoid associating with somebody or forming a friendship with somebody because of astrology. I got fired from my job. Why? I fucked my boss's mom in the janitor's closet recorded it with the GoPro, and then emailed it to everybody in the office. Oh. It's because he's a Leo, like, like, this is this is why you don't fuck with Leos, dude, I swear. A Capricorn would have let that slide any day. Now, I know what you're probably gonna say, where's my credibility exactly? Well, look, bro, I, I'm in a college astronomy class right now with an absolutely stellar grade. Uh, so that's really all the credibility I need. Another thing to note is that astrology and astronomy are two vastly different things. Astronomy is a science, an observation developed by educated and trained scientists for literally centuries, while astrology is a random fucking theory developed in the third millennium that white girls in high school just won't let die. And again, if you legitimately find enjoyment and interest in the concept of astrology, I don't want to shoot you down, but when you judge people and avoid friendships and blame people and make real-world decisions based off of these theories, that's when it becomes fucking dumb. There's no questioning that astrology is a scam and pure quackery, but what most don't realize is that nowadays businesses are profiting off of foolish people more than ever. By 2020, astrology itself generated a $2.2 billion industry. People are sheep and, you know, corporations have never ceased to recognize this and take advantage of this. You know, from astrology apps that have generated millions of dollars in monetization revenue to personal quote-unquote astrologers and retail environments where people can buy fucking future-telling rock and incense and random bullshit. Astrologers may be correct sometimes, but the amount of times that they are incorrect massively overshadows this, yet this is somehow overlooked by their blind followers. I'm willing to admit that I'm wrong if I am, and if any of you can present me with hardcore evidence that astrology is in fact real, I will be open-minded. And I swear, if any of you come at me saying, but the, the characteristics, characteristics of my sign are accurate, I will fucking shoot myself. Anyways, that's enough ranting for today. I hope you all have a good one. Please do not assassinate me for making this video. And astrology is bullshit. Goodbye.